Hello everyone and welcome back to a new video on the channel. Today, you, as you are, well I mean as you can see the titles by the video, I'm doing a, well I want to say a mini, I don't actually know how long this video will be, because at the moment it is rendering in the background, the uh, the speed change on the video just so it's a time lapse. So, I have to keep this under 49 seconds because the, that's how long the time lapse, time lapse will be. So, it's a mini review on Winners XP Vienna Edition, it is a bootleg operating system and a bootleg is essentially a system that has been modified with just stuff in general that has had programs and well, a lot of things have been added. So, apart from that, I hope you guys enjoy. Uh, please join my Discord, there's a link in the description or, and at the end of the video. I'm going to also be adding in different... Well, no. I'll be uh, putting in screenshots of the new subscribers that, uh, that subscribe to my channel. Um, at the end of the video, just as like a mini, I want to say, I don't want to say promotion, but as you can think, yeah. Anyway, enjoy the video guys, and I'll see you in a second. Hello everyone and welcome back to a brand new video on the channel. Now I'm not going to be doing a face cam video today because I thought we'd just have a nice sitting down relaxing video having a little bit of a look at a Windows bootleg. Now if you're not aware about what a bootleg is, it's essentially just a Windows version that has been modified in a way to make it look like something different. Um, as you can see on the screen we are on a login screen. Now, if you were to say this looks like Vista or 7, um, you'd be wrong. It's actually XP. However, um, I don't understand why you would say that, because it has been modified um, in every single way, including the theme. Um, however, if I think if you go into properties, it might say... Uh, here, oh, here we are. So it says here, uh, Windows XP. So that is one way of knowing about what you're using. Um, and definitely, this is XP. It's not Windows 7 anyway. Let's continue. So, this is the desktop. You have a little bit of a, uh, well, let's just say, like a, a, a spin wheel of programs. Let's just say you want to open up your documents. I'm guessing. Oh, here we are. Multi, whatever. Anyway. So, you've got PC. You've got my documents. Uh, what else have you got? No, no, go away. Uh, internet which I guarantee works magnificent. I definitely would not, um, what's the word? I definitely wouldn't tell you to use this operating system now because considering how old it is, I definitely wouldn't. Firefox, does this work? No, it doesn't, ooh. So obviously, probably because it's copywritten software, you need to install it first, but like I said, I wouldn't use this program at all. Sorry, operating system at all, because of how old it is. Uh, let's see, does pin is Pinball on here? Oh, yes, it is. It is. Okay. Um, so you saw the uh, installation process beforehand. It was probably in a uh, time lapse. Um, close, just close, get out of here. 
you probably saw in your time lapse, which is good because it did take a long time. I was thinking to myself, why did it take a long time? Well, when you go in task manager and you go into performance, this is two processes and two cores. I mean, this is just ridiculous, but you know why? Because of all the crapware that's in the background. You got rocket dock, you got some power buttons, you got a run, um, you got actually programs on the side here. Uh, my computer, media, I'm pretty sure. Do, do any of these work? Yes, they do. Um, and the themes have been changed. I wonder if I right click and go to properties, can you? Oh, wow, there's a lot here. Okay, so that's one good thing to know. Vista Aero, Vista Basic, Vista Chinese. You've got lots and lots of themes here. Now, one thing to think about. If I was to, oh, Linux, ooh. Is this something that's good? I mean, is it a good theme? This is running a bit slow. Uh, I honestly have no idea as to why. Or oh, Linux, let's have a look. What can we see? You know, this uh, this um, operating system was released in 2009. Not Windows, but this bootleg version. So here we go. Uh, we got customized icons. This, okay, we have the Tux Penguin. Okay. We have a lot of um, things here, programs that come with the operating system. Not Windows, but the bootleg version. Let's see, hardware monitor. Let's see, what does this have to say? Oh, this is just Cupid, okay. Uh, Cupid, C-U-P-I-D? Oh, I don't really know. Let's just go back to uh, Windows 7. Okay, so. Actually, was it on Windows 7 or was it on something different? Uh, oh god, I'm not even that sure. Right. Come on. Okay, here we go. So let's just speed run through some programs that come pre installed on this operating system, which in itself is an absolute piece of garbage if you have a slow virtual machine. So we have uh, my documents which as you can see the icons are large, we have my music um, including the sample music which I haven't yet gotten rid of yet, which is good yet uh, Symphony 9 and New Stories uh, we also have a shortcut to my pictures which also do a funny thing uh, oh they got rid of the sample pictures, usually there's a folder to some sample pictures but it's not there anymore you have my computer which um, displays your local disk and as well the DVD you also have my network places which shows nothing because it's not a nice like, network. Uh, well, it is on network, as you can see, you not down here. Uh, we have Internet Explorer, which does work, um, but I wouldn't use this or the operating system in general because of how uh, out of date it is, and XP has lost support for many years, so I doubt many people even use this anymore. You have Core Temp, um, which as you can see, because it's a virtual machine, it doesn't really show much. Um, File menu tools. Oh, here we are. So since this has been enabled, uh, I don't even know. Oh, here we. Oh, okay. So when you right-click on uh, the context menu, you can like go open in. Ah, uh, okay. Delete locked file. All right. Yeah, that makes a lot of sense. Uh, for like a cracked operating system anyway. Hardware monitor. As you can see, it's pretty. Uh, Ooh, I mean hardware monitors is probably if you ran this on a real computer it would be a lot faster and it probably takes a lot more than this or maybe just a bit a little bit more because it's on a virtual machine it kind of take much resource hacker yeah, it's resource hacker so with this and I haven't really used this before you can open up programs and you can see how they're made so let's just say version info gif on 28 cursor it shows all of the insides of the program. So if you're ever interested about how a program works, you can put it in here. Uh, Rocket Dock, that is what this program is up here. Um, and you have Control Panel, you've got Windows Media Player, uh, and you have Firefox, but there's no Firefox on here, as you can see here. Uh, we have a shortcut to my computer and also a shortcut to my recycle bin. Oh, Windows Media Player, I love this. Oh, it's been a long time since I've actually used this. Oh. I mean, I'm more of a VLC type, uh, type of person. Myself. So let's see what else we have in here. Thumbwin. That doesn't sound great. Let's just close that. Let's move it now. 
So Thumbwind, what do we think that can be? Close. Oh my god. This is very slow. Thumbwind. What is Thumbwind? I'm assuming Thumbwind might have something to do with these. Or it's a program that's already been opened, like one of these, perhaps. That would be nice. Okay, let's have a look at... Uh, True Transparency is literally just the transparency that's on here. Um, it's a lot better in terms of transparency. Now, not on the actual Windows. Not on Windows itself. Just on the taskbar as well as the start menu. Actually, not even the start menu, just the taskbar. Uh, Ultra Explorer is basically instead of the Windows Explorer window. So if I just go into my documents, uh, this is... Actually, this is still Windows Explorer, it's just not... Yeah, it's just been changed over a little bit. So, here is Ultra Explorer, with a lot of more features than the regular Windows Explorer. Uh, let's just close you, come on, come on, come on. I would uh, suggest to some people that you use this on a virtual machine if you don't like log into any accounts or anything that mean much to you. Um, what else is on here? I mean, you've got a bunch of themes, as I said before. Oh, wow, that is like transparency over the ball. Uh, you have a power to shut off your computer. You've got a button to uh, run and you've got a button to the security. Although that does nothing. You have navigation, controls, a clock, and trash bin. Um, you have my computer. So these are all pretty much just shortcuts. Um, we have a bunch. I wonder, do we have any screensavers on here that are new? Windows, Linux, how does that look? Does it move around or is it just one particular thing? It might have been one particular thing, I'm not that sure. Uh, Windows Media Center. Oh, here we go. Oh, I don't recognise this screensaver. Maybe it's something that came out with uh, Windows Media Center Edition. But I don't really recognise it. So, let's see what else is there. There is Windows Vista. Oh, I do, do recognise this. Although it's not like that. It's different to that. But that's not the point. The point is, is that this is a very... No, I wouldn't say trimmed down version of XP. If anything, it's a very bloated version of XP. We click on apps. I'm assuming it will bring up like a page of apps that are installed. Here we go. Yeah, programs, uh, accessories. I think this is a glitch with the graphics settings, which is why it's like this. But I don't really know. Uh, and then you can have solitaire and all that. I think there's a button. Is it like Shift F2 or F3 or Shift or Alt or whatever? But yeah. All right. That's not the point. The point is this is. An operating system that I would probably give ooh, out of 10 a 4. I'm not really a massive fan of it. Why, you might be asking? Well, I'm just, I don't feel like it's been very bloated. There's a lot of things have been modified. I wouldn't really trust this to have all my files on here. Um, I definitely wouldn't use this on a day to day basis. I won't anyway because it's not been, um, what you call it, it's not been supported for a very, very long time. Uh, computer name, hardware, advanced, system restore, automatic updates, and remote. Uh, so, by default, the computer name is XP Windows 7, as you can see here. What else is there? We have just this, basically. This is it. Now, the boot screen is actually Windows Vista, which you might have seen down here when I was going through the time lapse, as well as getting drivers installed for VMware tools. Thumb win. I think that's it. No, no, it's this one. Because if I now quit it... No, it's still transparent. Oh, no, it's not transparent anymore. So if I go into Shadow... Oh, okay. So YZ Shadow makes everything in the computer transparent, apart from things that aren't already open, which I'm assuming would be Windows uh, Explorer. So that's interesting. That's something you don't really learn every day. You, yeah, every day. Uh, now this, well, says so that you've got resolution, you've got appearance, um, error. You have lots of themes here. I do like the choices of themes that you get. 
you also do just have Windows XP if you are used to that. However, the default blue, green, and silver. And apart from that, there's not much else to show. I'm not recording this at uh, half midnight. I'm not absolutely mad. The time currently is, in fact, uh, 6.30 p.m. on a uh, Wednesday. Yeah, it is a Wednesday. I don't know why I didn't think it was a Wednesday. But apart from that, I think what we should do is just say goodbye to this laggy operating system and just press... I wish I sped a little bit faster. The shutdown button. Apart from that, guys, I hope that you enjoyed this. Well, that was nice. I hope you enjoyed this mini review. I would say mini. It's now been 12 more, almost 13 minutes from 3, 2, 1. Boom, 13 minutes. Not even 13 minutes from when the time lapse started, just from when I've been rambling on. But anyway, I hope you've enjoyed this video. Um, can't wait to be uploading more videos in the future when I can get around to doing it. But yeah, I hope you guys have enjoyed. I'll put a link to the ISO file in case you want to download it. Um, it would be good if you had a uh, Ethernet connection to your internet because archive.org isn't really good on Wi-Fi downloading, unfortunately. Um, but anyway, hope you have a good one, guys, and I'll see you all next time. Bye for now.